Laurie, a special day for the football club. Yeah, massive. Um, this has been uh, the end of, sort of three years of hard work on this particular project, um, and it's taken a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment from a lot of people, um, and a lot of patience. But we're so thrilled with the way it's all turned out today, and the the fact that we're able to sort of now put a long-lasting um, symbol of, of Sir Jack's legacy and commitment and dedication to his beloved football club in place that fans can come and appreciate now for, for years and years to come. It's that nice thing of, I know you were saying in the speech, is the fact that it's here between the city centre, the stadium, the fact that on a match day people will now walk past maybe give him a thumbs up. Absolutely and you know Sir Jack Hayward was, was wolves through and through. He loved this city, he loved this football club um, and there really wasn't too much sort of debate around where we felt the, the location of it should be. Um, he's looking out into his beloved city. Behind him is his is his is, is his beloved football club, and um, and he put so he worked so hard to get this football club back on the map. Um, and we're just thrilled that we've been that, that we're now able to do it today. Of all days, is what would have been his 95th birthday. Um, so there's a real sort of nice poignancy about that, and it's. And it's fantastically poetic that it just coincided with the fact that the Premier League fixtures have come out today. And his dream, his passion was seeing his football club compete at the, at the, at the very top of English football. And um, we've managed to achieve that over the last year. And, and today, again, is another sort of step along the way as to how we're going to be competing next year. Yeah, you mentioned those fixtures. It's real now. It's real. The, the feeling about the next season is there. I know. It only feels like yesterday that we... Um, that the guys took their boots off and went on holiday, but um, you know we've been looking forward to today. Um, with the, you know, with sort of you know, rightly with sort of a bit of nervous excitement about who we're going to face, but um, but not in any way with any anxiety um, because I think you know we've we've more than earned our right to be in this league. And but equally, you know, we we, we know that every game is going to be difficult. There's no such thing as an easy game, but we're extremely happy that we've got a home game to start with. I think our home, as I said at the end of season dinner, our home uh, form and support was really uh, instrumental in a lot of our successes last year. So if we can continue that fantastic level of fan support, that I can't see any reason why it won't, because I think I know the team's is equally as focused as where it was, um, and uh, and so it's, it's nice to get a you know a, a good strong opposition like Everton to come to our home on the first game and and give us a real sort of yardstick of, of what we're going to be up against for the rest of the season. You mentioned that support, season ticket sales, I know have been phenomenal. What's been your take on it? Really happy and look, we, we renewed 98.7% of our season tickets for this year. Um, I need to phone up the 1.3 and ask why not. But um, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're thrilled with that. Um, the, we've got a cap of about 22,500 in total um, and we're, we're moving towards that so I expect our season ticket base to be completely full um, and you know we want we want to build and continue to build that that anticipation that excitement that interest in the football club we've worked extremely hard on and off the field over the last two years to really engage with with the city with the community and with the fans and and um, and I've got absolutely no doubt whatsoever that through this season that we'll continue to sort of galvanise and continue that support. So, um, so we're, we're really happy with it. We're doing a huge amount of work off the field through the summer, not just in terms of, sort of buying players and stuff or you know identifying targets as to where we can strengthen the team, but just around Molyneux as well. So I think people are going to come back and, and hopefully see again a developing club, a club that's continuing to. To, to take one foot forward and, and it's going to really build a, a, a structure and, and, a, and a foundation for us to, to continue to compete in this league for a long time. Is there a balance with that as well though? As much as we talk about Twig and come forwards, this is almost a symbol of how the club is not forgetting where it's come from. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, we, we, we talk a lot about, um, you know, where the football club's been, the success of the past. We, we absolutely have to celebrate that. We're never, ever going to forget that. And today is, an, is another real stark reminder, a little bit about where we've been. But, you know, again, some of the really strong positive times that we, that we experienced, you know, under the influence of Sir Jack Hayward. And, but, you know, when you're looking forward, um, the last two years have been, particularly the last year, have been, again, equally rewarding. And we should... We should be looking to the future now. We should be well. I was not whilst not forgetting the past, obviously, but looking to the future about where this football club can go, and and the fans, and the club, and the staff, and everyone associated with the city should be rightly excited about you know about about where we're going to go because we are pushing hard to take this football club forward.